Hi, I'm Carly Porter and today I want to show you a little tutorial on how to do bobbin work on your long arm quilting machine. Uh, just to start out, I want to say that the way that I do it is just kind of the way that I do it and um, I know that there's a lot of different ways to do um, a lot of different embellishment techniques so I just wanted to show you the way that I like to do it and hopefully you can kind of get something from it. So. Um, when I do bobbin work, one thing I really like to use is Razzle Dazzle Couching Thread by Ricky Timms. Um, I think it's produced by Superior Threads and you can probably get it at your local quilt shop or order it through your local quilt shop. Um, I love it. It's awesome. It's really, it's really shiny and it's cute and it just really um, adds good embellishment to my quilts. So the first thing that you want to do is hand wind a bobbin with your couching thread. Whatever you decide to do, whatever fiber you want. You can get pretty big with the diameter, you know, I wouldn't say yarn big, but there are a lot of really cool possibilities with doing bobbin work. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is hand wind a bobbin, and obviously I've already got it done. Um, the other thing that I really like to do is I will always match my top thread to whatever my bobbin is, just because then that can kind of hide the top stitches a little better and they won't they won't stick out. Um, so I've done that and let's go ahead and do some quilting. Okay, so the first thing that I always do whenever I start doing bobbin work is I will check my tension. One thing to know is that I will loosen my tension on my bobbin case quite a bit just so that the thread can pull through pretty easily. So we'll go ahead and check our tension. So see how I was able to pull that up and through. Okay. Find that end. Okay, so now that I've got it pulled up, I'm gonna go ahead and just do some loops and see what my tension looks like. So, not too bad. Um, it looks kind of like you can still see my red stitches a little bit, but I'm just gonna tighten my tension just maybe a full turn and see what that does. It's better, but it still needs a little more tightening. I'd say that looks pretty good. So once you've got your tension the way that you want it to look, all you need to do is do some quilting. Once you've got your quilting the way that you like it, it's kind of like a kid on Christmas. Flip it over and check out the bobbin work. Not too shabby. Well, I'd say that it turned out pretty good. Bobbin work is a lot of fun and the possibilities are seriously endless. So anyways, I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a little message and let me know and happy quilting!